Okay, guys, this is hands down one of my favorites. It's a little spiral. So when it's hanging, even if it's moving around, it's okay. It looks pretty from every angle. I really like this one. And again, any size just depends on the square piece of paper you start out with. All right, I'm going to lay this one right over here. And when you get your paper, it's already most likely going to have a crease in the middle where um, you had an 8.5 by 11 and you folded it and then cut off the edge. Then you're going to fold it again. And this time when you cut it, it's a little bit different. Let me grab one I have started here. This time, on this fold here, as you can see, it opens to the side over here. So over here on the fold, you're going to start at the top and just cut in straight across all the way down. You're not alternating sides on this one. You're going to come straight across all the way down. I'm going to put one more in right here. Okay. Then open it up. Alright, now this one I'm going to have to cut it. As you could see, when I open this, I was going to pull these two together, the two center, and I didn't cut quite far enough down to be able to do that. They're not quite touching. So I'm going to fold it again and see if I can make that cut just a little bit closer to the edge over here. I can always roll the lantern or the roll the, it's not really a lantern, I'm not sure what to call this one. Okay, I don't want to cut all the way through. But I do want to go just a little bit closer. Yeah, that's better. Now, whenever I bring these over, I can glue them. And this time, I'm not going to glue it down in the center like I did with the star. Remember, I started with glue right there in the center. I'm not doing that. I want there to be that little gap there. So it's more like a little cylinder in there. Let that set up. Okay, and now again, we're skipping these two that are right next to those. And we're going to put just a little bit of glue. These are little more tedious just because you don't want them to get glued down in the center. You want to keep these circles like this. You want to make sure that you have those circles. Okay, and then again, skip the one right next uh, to where we pulled and get the next one. Skip that one. Grab this one. As you're getting out toward the edges, the circles are getting uh, larger so it's easier to work with. Okay, skip this one and pull this one forward. And the same up here. I suppose for a different effect, you could attach them all. Okay, now we're going to flip it over. And these that are left, we're going to pull these together on the back. Just 
let that set up a bit. And grab this one. You can see what it's looking like there. And the very last one. I think these are adorable. And again, any of your paper crafts, if you wanted to add glitter, you could. You could wait till you're done, but what I would suggest is while it's laying flat, before you start your folds and your gluing and creating the shape, that you already have the glitter on there. It would just make it a little bit easier, I think. Okay, so there it is. I love this one. My favorite. And here it is in a couple of sizes. Again, um, it just depends on the square that you start with. All right, and uh, I will see you in the next video with more easy paper decorations for Bible school, birthday parties, whatever the, the occasion that you need some decorations. This is an inexpensive way to go, and they're adorable.